I'm Matt Mullen, and I'm currently the director of product for NCAA Digital at Turner Sports. My team oversees the digital product development of a few apps, um, the main one being the March Madness Live app, the app that people use to stream the March Madness tournament every year, and also fill out your brackets and all play along and do all that fun stuff. Our team also oversees the development of the NCAA.com website, and also, like I've mentioned, the, the bracket challenge game that we put out there for every year for fans to engage with the tournament and deeper level. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in media arts. Back when I was in school, I thought I was going to be on like the film production side. I was a lifelong sports fan and thought I was going to be doing that in the sports um, industry somewhat one way or another. And as you can probably imagine, those jobs are pretty hard to come by. But luckily, I found this unique niche of the digital world when, when I first graduated. I thought I was going to be a producer in the film world. That role is, is kind of the ringleader of the circus. And so you're kind of working with all different people across all different types of backgrounds to try to make sure and create that production, create that piece of content. And that's what we're doing in the digital product development world too. We're the kind of the reading leaders of, of the circus of engineers and developers and user experience architects and designers to help create these apps and deliver them ahead of the, the tournament or whatever whatever your, your launch is. Applying those same kind of production skills to the digital world is where I've found that niche and found that ability to use what I learned at the University of Arizona in my current career. This interesting is a really unique one in the sense that, you know, when you're mixing entertainment and digital development, you kind of sit in this really unique crossroads of needing to fulfill unique jobs to be done with an app, right? You, you're either trying to help people stream games or content that they love and that they want to fulfill their, their passions with, or you're helping, you know, solve problems in their world, like getting r rides with Uber or something like that. And so being able to kind of mix that ability to understand your user and what they're trying to go after with the ability to know how to get that job done is, is what you should be doing in this industry. And so ways to do that are just um, a lot of what we do on our, on our team is a lot of competitive analysis and looking what's out there in the marketplace and keeping tabs on what new stuff is being launched and the great new technology fronts that are, that are being explored and seeing how that can be applied to your user base. And so really understanding who your user is and the role that you're trying to solve in their life is a really important one for someone who's trying to go into this industry and, and really understanding what, what you're trying to do there. Some challenges, you know, being able to have that exposure and have that experience to, to launch stuff to the public is, is a hard one to get into and jump into. And so any experience is a good experience. Being in there and, and jumping in an internship and no matter how it's large or small that, that app is or the organization that you're jumping into, just having that experience of going through the motions of Ideating on a concept and getting that launched to the public um, is really important one in this industry to, to be able to prove that you can solve those problems at scale and deliver on, on a deadline. That's, that's what we're trying to do. And The reason I got this job all points to some time I spent at the University of Arizona really getting into some student organizations. I was really involved with an organization called UATV3 back when I was at school, and that was the student-run TV station that we had where we got to sink our teeth into what it meant to be in the, the sports world, right? We produce a sports talk show on a weekly basis, and we're able to get in, get press passes for basketball games and football games and got to shoot press conferences and, and piece all that together into this sports show that we did every year. You know, being involved early with these opportunities that you have on campus to kind of show and you're going to understand what your passions are, right? Well, the reason we did that, that was that was hard work. We, we were managing this TV show on top of all the, the workload that we had, but we, we love doing it. And so un understanding and unlocking those passions that you're going to have, those are what you should convert into your career and, and what your lifetime role should be. And so I knew early on that that's what I wanted to sink my teeth into. I um, mean, so being able to get that exposure and take advantage of all the opportunities you have on campus are huge. And then you get to point to all those components when you're, you know, filling out your resume or having an interview or looking for an internship, like all that stuff starts snowballing into all the experience that you need to end up working the, the passion or the industry that you want to. It I spent my, a lot of my time at the University of Arizona looking for and, and having my, my mentors at the university help me out with looking for internship. Internships are, are a huge component to, to round out your career at, at school, um, and they help you get that, that real world exposure. And one example of that is on my team, we have the NCAA Digital Internship that we launch every year for postgraduate students, and this allows them to have a year-long experience 
with us where they get to see the entire life cycle of the March Madness Live app go from ideation to, to launching it during the tournament every year. And that's valuable experience. That's valuable exposure to understanding how to convert from being a student to being a professional. And so those internships are key. Those are the moments that you'll help bring that theory that you're learning in the classroom to practical component. And that will help you bring it all together and, and really become a, a really valuable asset to whatever industry or whatever organization you're looking to, to join after you get your degree. Thank you.